You're back with The Nation and we're staying with our investigation into booze and crime. I'm joined now by two Christchurch MPs. Nationals Nikki Wagner is with me in studio and Labour's Leanne Dalzell. Uh, thank you to you both for joining us this morning. Um, if I can start by drawing your attention to the level of public order offences for Canterbury and in this week's crime stats. We're talking about this um, per head of population. Let me just read from this. Canterbury had 102 public order offences per 10,000 people. Uh, South Auckland had 85 fewer offences per 10,000 people. If I can start with you, Ms Dalzell, why are people in Christchurch, do you think, uh, getting boozed and causing headaches for police? Well, I don't actually think that it's just a Christchurch issue. Um, you can take a statistic that compares South Auckland um, over a particular period and, and, and look at Christchurch. I think we need to look at the serious violent crimes and uh, because they, of course, are associated with being fuelled by alcohol. And in Christchurch, we've actually seen, we haven't seen a return to the pre-earthquake levels. Uh, I think that you could look around any city in this country and you would see people um, suffering from the results of serious violent crimes every Friday and Saturday Doesn't night. Doesn't that just sweep the issue of Christchurch under the table full. a little though, Ms Dalzell? Sorry? Doesn't that really sort of sweep the issue a little bit under the table here? No, I think that people like to look at Christchurch or look, look at a particular subject around a, a set of statistics that come out. Every single major city in this country has a problem with alcohol every weekend. Okay. Every Friday night, every Saturday night, the police and the emergency departments are having to cope with it. Nikki Wagner, what's your response? Because 102 public order offences in Christchurch, 85 in South Auckland. Yep. I think it explains how the police are adapting to looking after crime in Christchurch. We heard from Viv Rickards about, and from the taxi driver about the fact that it's more dispersed through the suburbs, that instead of having a concise area in the city. So what they've done is they've put liquor bans around those suburban areas. And what the police are doing, very proactive policing, is they're enforcing those liquor bans to stop more serious crime. So yes, those small offences have gone up, and that's a deliberate tactic of the police to keep order in the suburban areas, but they're doing it to prevent serious it crime. Didn't, it didn't help Jesse Ryder, though, did it? Because police have said that 50% of all violent crimes um, are alcohol-related. Is what we saw in that situation from Jesse Ryder, is that just a high-profile example of what's going on in Christchurch yeah. at the moment, post-quakes? I, I think it is, because crime right across Christchurch has actually dropped by 18% since pre-earthquake times, and across the country, we're much lower in terms of violent crime. Nonetheless, your caucus voted, and we both of you have, hi have highlighted here alcohol is a problem, your cau caucus voted to water down alcohol reform. Mm. But we also voted through the alcohol reform bill, which is the biggest and most comprehensive change of alcohol and access to alcohol since 1989. Leanne Dozel, I'll bring you in here, your opinion on that? Well, I mean, I just think that I'd like to ask Nikki a question, and that is, is why does the National Party know better than the Law Commission that heard over 3,000 submissions from ordinary members of the public and from experts uh, throughout New Zealand who said that there had to be major reform? And one simple question, why on earth did the National Party vote against reducing the blood alcohol tolerance uh, so that we could actually start dealing with some of the serious issues around alcohol? Well, obviously what we thought and the majority of Parliament thought was that there is extensive comprehensive well, no, actually, changes you used in your, this You reform. used your majority, and I know that, um, Nikki, um, because I know you that wouldn't Leanne allow your MPs more. to vote sensibly. I know that she had her own minimum pricing amendment, but actually the majority of Parliament, including her own people, didn't vote for that. It was a Talk step about drink driving. Far. Every single and member of the Labour caucus to voted to, this to get the drink and driving sure age right, uh, the drink driving measures correct. Over the next year. Okay, the police submitted a draft local alcohol policy to the Christchurch City Council this week. They recommended a lockout. So, one o'clock, if you're in that pub, the door's shut, you can't leave and go into another one. And three o'clock, all bars shut down, just for Christchurch. Do you support that, Leanne Dalzell? Yes, I do. And I think what the public don't realise, and I don't think anyone who should actually be making decisions about alcohol law reform without having gone out with the police after midnight. After midnight is quite different. I mean, people my age don't go out after midnight anymore, and we haven't seen the real change in the culture. People preload before they go into town, and this happens in every city in this country, and when they get into town, they already have substantial alcohol sure. consumed, and that is causing major problems. This I is think just the one-way one door policy uh, well, is a very, very good idea. The, the, the whole you idea it? 
Yes, the cantabs need to be locked in from uh, one well, o'clock and the pubs shut down their streets. The whole idea of these local alcohol policies is that communities can have a say for what's good for their community. Now we've had that one door policy in the past, it's been very successful. I think you'll find other communities will also adopt it. We're getting very excited about having a say in what's going to happen okay, in our city. Okay, but Vivricard said didn't need it on a national scale, we only need it in Canterbury. Ah, but it's up to the communities to decide to where they need does it. That re does that suggest that there is a problem in the city? Um, I think there's a problem in every city. I think Leanne Anne's absolutely right. But what we want is something that works for us. And Christchurch is a bit different than any other city because now we've got a vision of a new okay. city that we're going to build, which is going to be safe Le and going to be And the new a city does come with some implications, doesn't it, Leanne Dozel? Because Viv Rickard did say you have a, a lot of men in Christchurch right now, a lot of young men earning good money in a construction city. It's unique, isn't it? That throws up a number of issues. It will throw up more and more issues as more come to town. And I think that the police are adopting a much more proactive response ahead of the problems that they see emerging. Because instead of having everything concentrated in one area like other cities have, we have got people spread out through these different suburban areas. So I think that the Christchurch police have taken a, a very proactive response. But I also think that, I mean, I've talked to the emergency department people as well because they've had problems down there and uh, one of the issues that I keep coming back to, every Easter there is the same pattern. Uh, on Friday, Friday, Good Friday, uh, leading into the early hours of Saturday morning, not one single alcohol related presentation or incident in the emergency department. The following night, bars close at 12 o'clock, exactly the same, okay. back to normal every Saturday night. Five right. to six, seven alcohol related incidents, major violence, sexual violence happening in every city in this country. Last word to you, Nikki Wagner. Yes, I'm looking forward to the local advisory policies. I think it's going to make a significant difference. And as we roll out the new reforms in the alcohol bill, I think we're going to see real change, particularly in Christchurch. Okay, Nikki Wagner, MP for Central uh, Christchurch, Christchurch Central, Leanne Dazel, uh, Labour MP down there. Thanks for your time this morning.